Listening test. Part one. Look at part one. You will hear someone talking on the radio about a language study fair. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have twenty seconds and look at part one. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. If you're studying English, the language study fair that's being held this month will certainly interest you. The show is taking place between the 17th and 19th of March at the National Education Centre. It aims to answer all your questions about self-study. That's studying by yourself, whatever your level. The language study fair provides a perfect opportunity for you to see, compare, and get advice on everything that's available to help you improve the way you study. Over 350 leading producers of educational materials will be present. Come along to this. And you won't waste your money in the future on materials that are out of date or books that you just don't need. We've got lots of different things for you to see and hear. There will be stands showing different types of self-study textbooks, and talks by educational speakers on the best ways to study by yourself. You'll be able to see the latest furniture available. For people who study at home, we're sure you'll also enjoy watching people using the latest computer programs, which can make studying English alone so much easier. This is your chance to make good decisions about what you buy. You can attend the fair between 9:30 and 5 on Thursday and Friday, and from 9:30 to 4 on Saturday. Tickets cost five pounds each, or three pounds if you're a full-time student. All tickets can be booked by ringing the ticket hotline. The number is nine eight four double seven double one. Parking can be really difficult around the National Education Centre. However, an all-day space can be booked for only two pounds fifty per vehicle. So we look forward to seeing you there. Now listen again. If you're studying English, the language study fair that's being held this month will certainly interest you. The show is taking place between the 17th and 19th of March at the National Education Centre. It aims to answer all your questions about self-study. That's studying by yourself, whatever your level. The language study fair provides a perfect opportunity for you to see, compare, and get advice on everything that's available to help you improve the way you study. Over 350 leading producers of educational materials will be present. Come along to this. And you won't waste your money in the future on materials that are out of date or books that you just don't need. We've got lots of different things for you to see and hear. There will be stands showing different types of self-study textbooks, and talks by educational speakers on the best ways to study by yourself. You'll be able to see the latest furniture available. For people who study at home, we're sure you'll also enjoy watching people using the latest computer programs, which can make studying English alone so much easier. This is your chance to make good decisions about what you buy. You can attend the fair between 9:30 and 5 on Thursday and Friday, 
and from 9.30 to 4 on Saturday. Tickets cost £5 each, or £3 if you're a full-time student. All tickets can be booked by ringing the ticket hotline. The number is 984-7711. Parking can be really difficult around the National Education Centre. However, an all-day space can be booked for only £2.50 per vehicle. So, we look forward to seeing you there. That is the end of part one. Now turn to part two. You will hear a radio interview with Jack Williams, who is talking about a town called Swanton. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Oh, what a wonderful view. I'm here with Jack Williams, who's telling me about his hometown of Swanton. Yes, the top of this hill is the best place to see the area. Uh, Swanton is on the coast. Uh, you can see the harbour from here. But in fact, the town is built along the River Dean. Uh, this river comes from a lake in the mountains over there in the distance, then flows down to the flatland below us where the town is built. What do you most like about living here? About Swanton? Oh, it's an important industrial town and a port, so there's lots of activity. And there's a forest behind the town with interesting wildlife. But the most exciting thing for me is the mountains. I go climbing whenever I get the chance. What about entertainment? There's plenty of entertainment. A big centre was built last year to encourage the arts, very modern. Uh, it's got a cinema, a theatre and an art gallery. And there's football. Uh, the local team hasn't uh, done so well lately. A few years ago we nearly won the cup. And our area is famous for music. Uh, not in Swanton itself, but there's a well-known music festival in the next town. But there are problems with the environment. Uh, we're working on that. The river was a great place for fish, but the water got so polluted by the factories that most of the fish disappeared. Well, we've cleaned the river up now, and the fish are starting to come back. But I'm unhappy about Swanton Woods. The trees are quite healthy, but if you look, there are no birds there, and that's because pollution has reduced the number of insects. Swanton's growing fast. Are you pleased about the way it's changed? Well, you've got to move with the times. It was completely different when I was a boy. Uh, in those days, everybody worked in the factories and the families all knew each other. Maybe it was a little boring. Today, there are hundreds of different companies and so many new houses that some people don't even know their neighbours. There are disadvantages, but it's impossible to be bored with all the things going on. And what about Swanton's future? Education is important to us. We have a fine university which specialises in advanced technology and a huge shopping centre just built which is bringing in double the number of visitors. Good news for us. And last year we improved our airport so more planes can come in. Now listen again. Oh, what a wonderful view. I'm here with Jack Williams, who's telling me about his hometown of Swanton. Yes, the top of this hill is the best place to see the area. Uh, Swanton is on the coast. Uh, you can see the harbour from here. But in fact, the town is built along the River Dean. Uh, this river comes from a lake in the mountains over there in the distance, then flows down to the flatland below us where the town is built. What do you most like about living here? About Swanton? Oh, it's an important industrial town and a port, so there's lots of activity. And there's a forest behind the town with interesting wildlife. But the most exciting thing for me is the mountains. I go climbing whenever I get the chance. What about entertainment? There's plenty of entertainment. A big centre was built last year to encourage the arts, very modern. Uh, it's got a cinema, a theatre and an art gallery. And there's football. Uh, the local team hasn't uh, done so well lately. A few years ago, we nearly won the cup. 
And our area is famous for music. Uh, not in Swanton itself, but there's a well-known music festival in the next town. But there are problems with the environment. Uh, we're working on that. Uh, the river was a great place for fish, but the water got so polluted by the factories that most of the fish disappeared. Well, we've cleaned the river up now, and the fish are starting to come back. But I'm unhappy about Swanton Woods. The trees are quite healthy, but if you look, there are no birds there, and that's because pollution has reduced the number of insects. Swanton's growing fast. Are you pleased about the way it's changed? Well, you've got to move with the times. It was completely different when I was a boy. Uh, in those days, everybody worked in the factories, and the families all knew each other. Maybe it was a little boring. Today, there are hundreds of different companies and so many new houses that some people don't even know their neighbours. There are disadvantages, but it's impossible to be bored with all the things going on. And what about Swanton's future? Education is important to us. We have a fine university which specialises in advanced technology and a huge shopping centre just built, which is bringing in double the number of visitors. Good news for us. And last year, we improved our airport so more planes can come in. That is the end of the test.